was September 7th, 2013, and um, I was signed up for Lodija. Um, as he just said, it was a 206-mile bike race from Logan to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I was going to ride it for my 10th time. I, it was my little secret that I rode the race for my daughter, Emmeline. She's such a special girl. She uh, brings so much love into this world. Um, when she was eight weeks old, we had to take her down to Salt Lake um, because she had a brain tumor. But it's funny, cancer, it sticks around. And um, it's, it's hard to shake. As long as Emmeline was better, then I needed to ride. That's me and Johnny Tazi. It's the morning of the race. I felt super strong. When I pulled out of Afton and over to Thane, um, I, a, a huge group came up behind me and I, I knew I had to grab on. And I said to myself, I gotta stay with these guys. All of a sudden there was, there was square roots and decimals and all kinds of math problems. And um, on, the, on the right side, I had l limitless boundaries and it was really weird. And when I woke up, I, I was um, on the ground and one highway patrolman was with me and he kept tr me trying to get um, to let go of the bike. And I said, please, please, whatever you want, uh, I'll give it to you after the race. <laughs> Not like that, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> when the doctor at, at Star Valley Hospital uh, um, was taking my uniform off, cutting my uniform off, and... That, that hurt, because I knew I wasn't gonna finish the race that day, um, that year. The last vision I had uh, was um, my wife, who was down in Salt Lake for a marathon, and she said, You know, I, I love you. Those words meant so much to me. Anyway, I woke up and I was a mess. My head was an absolute mess. <laughs> my um, leg, my right leg didn't work, my right arm didn't work, and my speaking was slow and deliberate. And I was an utter mess. I, I had had a stroke. But they, they love to call it disability. <laughs> I think they should call it reability. <laughs> uh, we're not disabled. We're reabled. Trying to match or measure up to our prior self. I got a box in the mail um, and I, I was, it was in March and um, I opened it up and it was um, a box from Lodija and it was the 10 year award was in it. There was the box, and inside was a letter which I couldn't read, 
and an award which I didn't want. So um, I shoved it up in my closet and for, um, you know, I didn't throw it away, but I wanted to, but I knew there was a chance. We went to mile 97. That's where the patrolman said I wrecked. This is the team that was there. Doctors and, and nurses were in red and we were in black. The sound of 30 riders. I love that sound. Um, if you never had it, you, you should someday. But we rode um, up from uh, South Park to Skyline. I don't know who that guy is in red and white. <laughs> he, just, he just came in for the picture. <laughs> in between um, the two of us is my doctor, who um, also had a stroke. Um, they presented me with the award. I know each and every one of you has a, a passion. It doesn't need to be um, athletic. It can be anything, but, but go for the gold. I don't want to look where I've been. I want to look where I'm going. Emmeline, is 13 now. Um, Audrey's her little sister, and Bennett's <laughs> little brother. Anyway, um, I, I thought the race was for them. I really did. Um, but my wife, Wendy, read through my notes as I was getting ready for this, and she said, and it's true, the, it's not for them, it's for you, Brian. <laughs> Thank you very much.